Hey everybody, it's Jack from Indie Spotlight Live here on Blog TV. I usually stay away from this kind of shit, but tonight is kind of the exception um, because it is a political season. Um, prior to becoming the host of this particular program, I was the host of a show called News Talk, which is very politically oriented. Um, tonight, I guess I'm going to reach back to my News Talk roots just a little bit. Um, I posted this status on Facebook last Wednesday, um, and I said... I've been staying out of my way to stay out of the political stuff, but have something random that I'd like to share. I was just uh, sitting at my desk, checking my email, drinking my coffee, having a nice quiet morning, um, when out of the blue I got a rather loud knock at the door. Um, I sneak over to the door, I look through the peephole, and I see an Obama bot. Yes, I said it, Obama bot. In the middle of the day, in the middle of the week, now granted I work retail, so my schedule is weird and that's why I happen to have been home um, but the majority of people especially around here with all the government um, well for lack of a better way of describing it work a more normal schedule uh, since I've already made up my mind and decided that I was not falling for the false hope and change promises that yes I did buy into four years ago I did not open the door um, for the record in case anyone's interested I am writing in the name Ron Paul I have to wonder if the president wants to reach the working class and wants his volunteers to talk to the working class. Isn't much of the working class home on the weekends? Who outside of retail workers, shift workers, oh yes, and the unemployed are going to be at home in the middle of the day on a Wednesday? Um, I'm sure it was okay for the Obama bot to just leave some literature stuck on my door again and call our friends on the free cell phone that Obama got her on her way back up the stairs after disturbing my day but sometimes you really have to wonder and that was my Facebook rant um, not a whole lot else I'd care to say about this um, I do see where people have been kinda commenting on this in the chat just a little bit and I think I just killed my yes I did um, just a little bit now let me see what they're saying in the chat here about this um, Sorry I haven't put up a Weenie in the Week segment in a while, guys. Um, let me scroll up here a little bit. Um, Rob points out Obama tells people they were better off than they were four years ago, huh? Um, well, considering that um, I was unemployed for two months and I've never been unemployed more than two weeks, up to five one time, but that was kind of my own doing. Um, I've never been on the sidelines for that long, so no, I, I can't say that we're all, and I'm making less money now than I ever have, so I have to say no. Um, we're not better off than we were four years ago. Um, my, my friend Mike points out, Rob, no doubt, you know, I won't be voting for him, where's my job, asshole? <coughs> Deb from Unsigned Musicians, and I might have to do this myself, she put a nasty note on her front door in regards to, um, people, un, uninvited solicitations. Um, and she's using call block a lot. So am I. Um, Deb says she doesn't want to vote for either of them. <laughs> Mike says uh, Jesse Ventura in 2016. And and Deb points out Romney wants to kill P Planned Parenthood. Who's going to pay for all that shit? That's a very good question, especially since um, the Supreme Court has already upheld Obamacare. So they're going to have to run some whole new thing through Congress. And I doubt the P Republicans have the support to completely kill it the answer to that, the government will pay for it. Um, and Romney wants to override a lot of things. I just don't feel, yeah, my, Rob points out the daddy's child support. Yeah, if the fuckers pay it. Um, hell, I, 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 can, I can think of some mothers that I know that don't pay their child support. So, and there's only so much you can do to get them to pay up, especially if they've left the state. But Romney doesn't care about 47% of us. He said that himself. Um, I'm sorry. Obama's presidency, in my opinion, has been a failure. So, Here in the United States, I feel that we need to desperately get rid of the two-party system. Um, it doesn't work. It hasn't worked in a very long time. And when you go to the polls in a couple of weeks, guys, think long and hard. 
A lot of bullshit this election. More so than I've ever seen. That's really all I got to say about that. Thank you for watching. Um, long since gotten away from the political stuff on my show. It's an all music show. Indie Spotlight Live on Blog TV every Sunday night, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Screen name is Risky Business 04. Hope you'll join us. Take care and have a great week.